Hey guys, Joey here, and in this series of videos, I'm gonna demystify one of the most important mixing techniques, compression. Today, I'll be starting with how it works, when to use it, and how to set the most basic controls. Let's dive right in. A compressor is a processor that controls dynamic range. That means it brings the loudest parts down and the quietest parts up. It does this by automatically adjusting the volume of a source when it reaches a certain level. You can think of it as a machine that moves the fader up or down for you. The most common way you'll see a compressor used is to bring down the loud peaks on a track. The easiest way to understand how it affects audio is to process it on a clip, so I'll be using this for demonstration. Check out this raw audio, then compare it to the compressed signal. The skin and bone I'm hanging on by a rope You see these scars The skin and bone I'm hanging on by a rope The raw signal sounds okay on its own, but the compression makes it sound way more polished. This is even more important in the mix. Pay attention to how this raw example gets too loud, then becomes too soft to be audible. Compressing the signal made it audible throughout the track and made it feel more balanced. I reach for a compressor whenever something needs to sound more consistent. Vocals are a great example. I want every syllable to be audible and have impact. I also want the entire performance to feel balanced. Anytime I see a signal like this, I know the peaks have to be tamed. I like to use several stages of compression. I'll do some of my individual tracks, then the buses, and then the master. That's gonna give me control over exactly how dynamic every instrument is and how glued the whole mix will sound. Okay, so I've gone over the what and the when. Now let's get into the how. Setting a compressor is a deep topic, but almost every plugin you choose will have these two options, a threshold and a ratio. The threshold is the easiest to understand. It's just the level where the compressor activates. Where you set this is totally gonna to depend on the source and your goal. If you set it around here, you'll only be compressing the loudest parts of the track. And this is great for something like a snare where you just wanna catch the transient peaks. Around here will bring everything to a medium volume. This is cool because it can catch most of the performance and smooth it out. This is especially effective on vocals since it controls the louder syllables while leaving the softer ones alone. That means that the softest parts of the performance will hit just as hard as the loudest ones. Bringing the threshold way down here will usually mean compression is being applied the whole time and will sort of just sound like you lowered the track fader. I reach for this setting when something really needs to be crushed, and it usually works better on buses than individual tracks. Okay, so the threshold is the level where the compression activates. Now let's control how much compression is applied with the ratio. The ratio is the relationship between your input and output gain. If you have it set at two to one, that means the signal can go two decibels over the threshold and the output will be reduced by one decibel, which means the total signal only increases one decibel. A five to one ratio means that the signal can go five decibels over the threshold and the output will be reduced by four decibels, with the total signal only increasing one decibel. This is really powerful because you can make an inconsistent performance manageable. The last step is to make sure that the peak level is back where it started. Remember, the goal is to make the audio more consistent, not quieter. Most compressors have an output knob or a makeup gain control. You can bypass the plugin to compare the compressed volume to the original. It's also helpful to look at the gain reduction meter when setting the output gain. I'll typically look at the average level of gain reduction as a starting point. For example, if a track is being reduced by a range of three to six dB, most of the time it's gonna be hitting around four, so I'm gonna set my makeup gain at four dB. Now that you know what a compressor is and how it works, let's try a few examples.
And that's all for now. This is the starting point for understanding compression. Next week, I'm gonna go into the more advanced settings like attack, release, knee, and more. So stay tuned. And if you have any questions on compression concepts, make sure to drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to check the links in the description below and tap that bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos. Until next time, happy mixing.